Hello and welcome back to the Outer Worlds with your three lords in the mad. Yeah, can I bring both of them? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Both of them have silly things they want to do. Hello? Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Don't mind the heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson will get it sorted before then. Excellent. Got it? Inside voices. Very inside voices, both of you. Plasma rifle. 52 to 118. So is it like a chargeable weapon? Let's be fair, I have some pretty good weapon going on for me right now. So, I'm curious now, how much... How many bits do we have? A lot of bits. Of weapon and other parts. It smells like grease and unwashed bodies. Just as I remembered. That's not the point. The attack would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get two with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. Be a tree. Pleasure to meet you. Going for a stroll around the docking base? I noticed you were in the middle of an argument, Ola. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. I thought you'd hear your side. What happened? I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the Chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolved your differences like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided him with a tossball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero-G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? What do you ask? Oh, just musing is all. Must be nice having the run of the colony. Never being anchored to one place, always chasing some horizon. Hey, I don't want to tuck your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. You in a hurry to get somewhere? Oh, uh, not at all. Just, uh, you know, gonna figure out what to do next. See you around, boss. Right. Good thing we didn't leave, don't have anyone to leave on the ship to make sure this guy does not go and try to steal our ship. I'm also going to assume that he's an option for making friends. If it wasn't for us... This whole damn station would shut down. Good that dude. That's a lot of stuff here. I'm hiding. There's like a whole place to nap over here. Is that nice? Is the more dead like a position? Move. Carry on. Looks like it. Do you mind? I'm trying to file a report. I do you mind? Okay, so Stevedore is a position, Mardet is a position. Is this the family lines from the original crew?
Okay, Phineas E. Wells. Wells. For various crimes and violations of port policy, including any or all of the following. Sedition, forgery, conspiracy, conspiracy to, com conspiracy to commit conspiracy. Unlicensed, medic unlicensed medical practice, destruction of port company. That's quite the impressive list of infractions. I agree. Dead or alive, Captain Gunnar McRae for several counts of public intoxication, destruction of ground breaker property, unpaid token fees, and resisting arrest. Contact Commandant Sanita if you have any information concerning McRae's whereabouts. Failure to report a tip may result in imprisonment and a fine. Proof of care required to collect reward. And that's another one for Phineas. So I'm gonna guess it's mostly Phineas. Oh, that's a restricted access place. Something the matter? Not really, no. Customs and inspection, right this way. Ooh. What do you have? Shock cannons, heavy machine heavy machine guns? That uses heavy ammo though. Hmm. And it's a heavy weapon. I'm more about long guns. In all fairness, in all honesty. Officer's spine. Who stole an officer's spine? Well, where did you find one? I thought officers were spineless. <laughs> well, that's fine. Okay, does this one also have something good for me like this? Yes, please. Because I've been... Not getting all of that. Alright, so I need to speak to you to get in. Also, is this the area that you needed for... Max, is this where you want to go? Max, is this where we want to go? Another personnel restricted area should be shot on site without question. You can either fight, sneak, or use holographic shot to get through restricted areas. Okay, there's some people around. Ooh. Great. So we are currently shrouding. Oh, we're all shrouding. I was like, who the fuck are these people? What the fuck's this feel? I can't take the hoop. Hey, you got some prayer beads. You love them, Max. You love them. Looking sharp. Yeah, we are. Gosh, that's clever. With the Madet being right over there. So this is not where the hacking things are. That's fine. Left hands, Cap. There it is. Just yank the drive and I'll do the rest. Okay, a check talking records that the cartridge confiscated goods. Detained the freelancer who was cagey about his business confiscated his personal belongings while we waited for questioning, modified pistol chock, hatchet, metal hood, prayer beads, lock container. He fled before we could get down to it, left his things behind so they stored in the back of the security station and the idiot shows his face again, which is likely to be never. Sublight put a bid on one of our impounds, Charles one two, to negotiate for the usual finder's fee and then give Lilia her salvage, brawl at the last hope, freelancers versus support, freelancers won, 
I arrested the fighter captain with uh, more bits than brains. Hawthorne's ship impounded by order of food and Bedford, still no clue why Hawthorne associates with that bought snake. A guy from the back race uh, wrapped up by the moon gate, raving mad, warned me that moon was gonna bring up about the end times. He was flying high on whatever McRae grows down there. Got a sworn testimony that McGraw was spotted at the Restant Co. Not that anyone will corroborate on it, reminded to keep an eye on Gladys. Now that we have the data, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Okay, great news. Today it was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You're hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that, Graham? Asshole. Hi. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. Hello. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Just getting my bearings. What do you do here? This is the security desk, sir. If you're here to report a crime, you'll want to talk to Commandant Sunita. I'm not authorized to take incident reports anymore. And why can't you take incident reports? I'm not so good at filing. Mix up first name and surname one, two, seven times. Well, folks are liable to start taking your filing privileges away. Do you do, I don't know, tools or something? We can't just let anyone walk in here. I wouldn't be, uh, well, it's not... We just don't. Maybe if you clear an open bounty and get in good with Commandant Sunita, or help Chief Tennyson fix this heat, that might warrant a thank you tour or something. Uh, back to my other questions. All right. Lots of freighters come through the station, must keep you busy. Less than there used to be. Fewer freighters passing through these days. I spend some shifts just listening to the wireless. Why aren't there many freighters coming through? Search me. I mean, don't search me, because that's my job. <laughs> Get it? Yep. Uh, I reckon you'd have to ask the folks in Byzantium. I bet you've got seized contraband from all over the system stocked up back there. Sure, and stuff from outside the system too, off the uh, interstellar freighters. That's why we also have so many armed Mardettes on duty here. What if someone took the contraband's mine and I'm here to claim it? That'd be awful weird. On account of you should be locked up back here too then. That's fair. Back to my other questions. Alright. Uh, see you around. Why are you there, Parvati? Parvati, you're gonna get caught! Parvati, get out of there! Max, do something! Parvati, it's a restricted zone, get out of there! Don't, don't scratch your head, just... Okay. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardette's offices aren't for leisure time, nor loitering. Are sure? I'm interested in my cred bounty. Where can I find him? Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. Why don't you send him a debt to apprehend him? Oh, I will. As soon as the chief approves the personnel reorg required for a bounty dispatch. So, in about three to seven weeks. I'll take the posting. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head. Or his lucky lighter. As proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Thank you. What bodies do you have available? Still waiting to hear back on that bounty for McRed. Out of sight. Not much else. Groundbreaker's keeping calm at the moment. That's probably good. So what is it like working security detail on a space station? Do I look like your gossipy best friend? While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. 
Understand? Fine, fine. Then get to business or get moving. I, what's some of that? We're the security force here on Groundbreaker. Started back before the crossing, you know. Why am I dead and not guard or officer? The original force was made up of a marine detachment from the 77th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Trailwork Fleet. Folks started calling us Mardettes because it was easier to say. Guess it stuck. Fair enough. I couldn't help but notice the bounty posting on Phineas Wells. The outlaw scientist fella, right. The board's had it out for him for ages. If you have an inkling of the where's or what for's of his location, Udon Bedford would surely like to hear it. Is this Wells fellow a famous criminal or something? To the board, yeah. You've read his wanted poster. Whole list of things to get their unders in a wad. But he's never done nothing to Groundbreaker, so I've no problem with him. We keep the poster up to keep the peace is all. Fair enough. I'll be on my way. Max, get out of there! It's not safe! Provide to do something! L Max! It's a restricted area, Max! Max! No! Don't do this to me! We only just met! How are you doing? Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook. Rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Oh, I don't have high enough perception. This all seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Uh, I don't have high enough perception. Sounds good, let's go. But please, please, you're in a restricted area. Max! But what help me? Where are we headed? Uh, we'll talk later. Oh, thank you, Max. Thank you for walking through that wall. Hello, who are you? Identification, please. Here you go. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. How do I get this result? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford. Our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. I think this happens a lot. Just the opposite. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations here. Surely this must be some sort of mix-up. They must have a real big bee in their bonnets then. Everyone knows you don't trifle with Groundbreaker if you want to get your goods on time. If I had to take a guess as to why... You probably riled up the wrong petty board bureaucrat. A man named Udom Bedford. Great. I'll go talk to him and straight this you out. You take the starch out of him? Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Her shipment? A handful of SAM cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? I could have just skipped my entire conversation. What can you tell me about Udon Bedford? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. So the distinction between Crownbreaker and the board? They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top in manifest processing fees with every one. 
Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. In fact, they're fussing them if the boss lets keep pushing them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. The port runs most of the system, don't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Thanks for the impact. Sure thing. I'm looking for a drink. Any recommendations? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. Got it. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Can I find a job around here? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. How does Halcyon Holdings work, anyway? Are you pulling my leg? I'm new around here. You must be one of them long-haul freighters from outside the colony. Well, I won't hold it against you. It goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the Board. So there's actually a boardroom somewhere with all these company heads in it? Sitting around, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. The board runs most of the system, don't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent board. Yes, we have Aside to discuss us, there's this. There's just tramp yeah, yeah. and wildcat miners. How does Groundbreaker uh, fit into that? Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing. A few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody'd been dethawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. Got it. Glad to help. I didn't think there were many independent operators in the system. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich. But they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. What do you know about Sublight Salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. I'm looking for something a little more local. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. How about something long term? If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Full-time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited, or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. That's all I need to know about work. Right. I'm looking for someone named Cladis. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go, on your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. See you around. Be seeing you. I'm glad that was... White ass. 
much of a non-problem as far as discussions go. Okay, we're gonna break down these. And how can... Oh, I forgot I equipped that. What can I put on this? Fun times peril. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this... This now is what I can silence. Do I want to silence my grenade launcher? No. But additional crit damage sounds fun. And I can also make it an electrical grenade launcher. No. Plasma grenade launcher. No, yeah, no, that sounds fun. So we now have a plasma grenade launcher. I'm just gonna... Uh, tinker with it a little. Oh, that just costs bits and not parts. And what does this do? It increases the item's level. Cool. Wait, I can put some sort of a sight on my sword rifle? Or... When we already have the Mac to power, we have the option of extend the sight or Kyra sight. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Alright, great. And then I can also spend all of my money tinkering on it. Because this... This assault rifle has served me extremely well, hasn't it? Oh. Alright. Great. So level 13 is currently the maximum I can upgrade a weapon. I'm gonna do that to my light machine gun as well. Uh, my shotgun on the other hand is currently not as much of a priority. Wait, how much money do I have left? Not a lot. No. No, apparently I spent a whole fuck ton of money upgrading my shot rifle. I wasn't really paying attention to that, was I? No. Night ammo. But that's an another Mother ID cartridge. Old enough. The whole break in there. That was absolutely not a challenge. Also, I just remembered. Vika. You're my second person. Have a hat. Ooh. I think I found myself a new outfit. I didn't realize I had done so. And that looks pretty good as well. Where's the workbench again? I'm completely distracted from actually progressing anywhere because I need to... Look at what I can do with this. Factory stock armor plating, that's fine. Uh, I can put an electric charge surface on it. Or a hunter kit, a tech kit, silver tongue kit, a tuck kit. I want to put a silver tongue on it. Yeah. Can I equip another one? Or. Oh, those are listing what I have available. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's fine. That's great. Hello, more that. Uh, okay, so we have plenty of options here. Can I steal your mag picks? Technically cool, but you're looking right at them, so that would probably not go the best. No, oh, this is take all. This is them stealing. Ta da! Just disabled helmets just because. I do want to see Parvati's face and Max's. That's why that helmet looks okay. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. Anarchists live as one with the animals, lawless, savage, and unemployed. 
The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave the planet and threaten our hard-working citizens. This has been Halcyon News, your only source for news in the Halcyon Colony. Max, I'm unemployed. Oh no. So this is just like a little bit of a resting place here. Rest and Co key card. Shh. Shh. You're sleeping, so that's fine. Purple berry punch. This is like purple. Some people like that flavor. Purple. Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about. But the Modet are supposed to keep us safe, no? What about this unsavory types? I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that's like. Something vexing you, Captain? Uh, no. How about you? Where are we headed? No. It's just another Madet. Do you know what's happening on Terra One? Last I heard, the board was in dispute with the Renegade Company. Sounded dire. They call it Monarch now. It's supposed to be a real health haven. Warlords drumming up Marauder squads, blood running in the streets, all kinds of shit. So it went about as well as everybody expected. Yep. What's this place? <gasps> this is the last hope. Who are who are you? Why don't you have a name? Gonna head to Vera's for whiskey and darts. Maybe not in that order. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Not into our name. Talk to Vera if you need something. But a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into question. Both teams have tested negative for performance enhancing stamina. A toss ball first. What? Coaches and referees are debating how and if this behavior could lead to an unfair advantage. This is Halcyon News, reminding you that there's no I in news, no we in Halcyon. And no mercury in Satu. No mercury in Satu, and the mother pain painful. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lei gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. All the traders in the systems come through here. Heard anything interesting? Only the usual. Marauders all over space. You ever wonder how folk who can't figure the bleeding edge technology of a spoon can manage to get ships into space? What's the seat issue I hear people complaining about? The radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. Sounds like you might have an issue with your terminal control system? Couldn't say, and I wouldn't be pouring drinks professionally if I could. All I know is we're cooking in our own juices here and it's only gonna get worse. You gotta use talky skills to get XP. So you can level up to gain more talking skills to gain more XP. What do you need radiators for? They're supposed to gather up all the heat the systems generate and vent it into space. Instead of the heat going where it ought though, it seems to be blowing straight down the promenade. How long has it been like this? Weeks? I lost track. Too law damn long. Who's in charge of fixing it? Engineering. Chief Junlei Tennyson, to be precise. She runs this heap, best she can anyway. Don't know what's got her dragging her heels, but I wish she'd hurry it up. Maybe I can do something about that. That's not for me to say. But if you're feeling the urge toward helpfulness, you can find Chief Junlei in engineering. So what do you know about Chief Junlei? Which one is for that one? There's nobody who knows more about the station's guts. Any system you could name, June's crawled around inside and made it better. 
She doesn't come around here often, though. Don't see her as much of a drinker. Too straight lace for that. Too much work to do, I guess. I did suppose you know a way I could get to Stellar Bay on Mark. Stellar Bay proper? Mm, tough to say. The board recalled all the nav keys about ten years back when the corpse pulled back to Terra 2. Do you know why? It's overrun with beasts, I heard. Big ones. Kind of chew your face off for fun. Might all be board propaganda, though. If you're aiming to get to Stellar Bay, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. The board don't like them that truck with Monarch. But I ain't the one you ought to be asking. Try Gladys on the promenade. She'll fix you up. I'm glad that everyone knows that Gladys will fix me up. Like, no one has absolutely any issue with me talking to Gladys in the first place. Or anything else in that regard. Hmm. No yeah, portal pistol, I'm gonna send that. Okay, well. That's that. No one saw me trip over that, right? Over that? This that's fine. What's over here then? Oh. Between the lot of us, we are not skilled enough to pick that lock. Hi, Chef. I try to keep the place clean in case Chief Tennyson stops by. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, keeping a clean kitchen is usually a good idea. Hi, engineer. I'm trying to. I'll be just. Just a moment. Yeah, I, I, that's fine. Take care of yourself. Well, I'll leave you be. I mean, as someone who has had the pleasure of escorting someone out of a bathroom after they've been cooking their guts out, I can understand that people need their time. They die a salt rifle, you say? You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, <sighs> that's how you know your weapon loves you back. Aww. I got a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. What's the benefit of modifying my weapons? Why, it gets you the weapon best suited for your lifestyle. All the better for performing a little percussive maintenance. Self-improvement, including one's weapons, is always a worthy endeavor. Take your basic Deadeye Assault Rifle. Perfectly serviceable. But what if you like finesse? Slap a scope and silencer on that bad boy. Bunker down in a bush someplace and pop off heads. What if you like getting in close and making a lot of noise? Extended ammo magazine and a barrel heat sink to bump up rate of fire. Does modifying weapon void the warranty? Uh, what? <laughs> Sorry, hon. Here at Bell's Shells, we just don't discuss impolite topics, and W A R R A N T I E S tops the list. <laughs> How do I attach a modification? Only takes a bit of elbow grease and a spot of engineering know how. Most ships have a workbench near the cargo hold, ours is in engineering. You could take your new toys over there if you feel like tinkering. You also have one right at the exit. If you can change my mind, can I take a mod off or replace it? Uh, no, and yes. When you install something, it pops in there real nice, but if you want to replace it, the originals tend to snap like plastic toys. Where can I find modifications? Right here for a start. I got a fair selection. Modified weapons are my specialty. Thanks, that's all I needed for now. So, what can I get you? Show me what you have. I was interested in what is... The Dead Eye Assault Rifle. You don't actually sell the Dead Eye Assault Rifle. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking right at me. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna pick your lock. Wow, you got that. Come on in, everybody. Next, that includes you. We don't want the door to be open while we get inside, Max. Thank you. So we can close the door and steal everything this poor woman has to her name. 
Well, not everything, but a fair amount of it. Enjoy your day! You're just another stupid doll. Let's close the door behind us, just in case, because we are picking some locks again. Hmm. Interesting. My dad taught me some French, you know. Stuff about omelettes and, uh, fromage. I could take a look at that journal. Is that a Dexter reference? By all means. I would be astounded, yet astronomically in your debt. Oh, yeah, there's nothing at all about eggs and cheese in here. Sorry. Very helpful. Thank you. She tried. Oh my god, did she try? Who? You? Here? Hi. Thank you, stranger. Shit, ain't that a relief? Um, is that your doo doo? You have no idea how good the air on Groundbreaker smells until you've been trapped in a tiny bathroom with an overflowing toilet. Thanks again, friend. What happened? What usually happens on this partially pressurized rust bucket? Something broke. Well, actually, two things broke. First, the damn toilet overflowed. When I came to clean that up, the damn door decided to close and lock on me. How long were you in there? Time stood still. I was aware of nothing but the smell. Ugh, could have been days. Ah, shit. That means I haven't clocked out in days. Song is gonna have my ass for wage theft. I did your favor, what are you going to do for me? You're gonna shake me down after I was trapped in a shit-covered bathroom? Is that how it is? I suppose you've been true enough. Damn right I have. You scare me a little, mister. Okay, that's part. I think there's reason for us to... What are you? You're a manti-pillar. Yeah, we have a little scope now. Nice. Look at us. I hope those were no one's pets. But it's, it seems, looks like there's some dead engineers here. Their assist lost hopes plumbing is acting up again. To take a candle at the usual spot. While there, someone locked their key behind the door. It's locked one. Once you're ready for a challenge, come back and we'll discuss the radiators for a hundred time. It doesn't look like these guys were part of the original design. Got it. Heads down. Ooh. We're gonna go up there. Yes, yes, we will, but first uh, let's look around a bit more over here. We can unbar this door now. Be very careful, this looks Suspiciously like it might be dangerous. I had a question about your plan, Mr. Vicar. Of course. The cosmos is generated and directed by the universal equation, also known as the grand plan. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. Oh, um, right. You had a question? Never mind. That about answers it. Okay. Time to take a look around here. Looks like we are in someone's very special room of storage. Probably that one door that I was unable to pick lock. Yep. But I don't have to pick lock it now, I can just open it. So much st stuff for me to just loot. And no one's gonna write me up for being an absolute and utter kleptomaniac in this game. Kleptomania is a serious problem, I should not have used that word that lightly. Uh, 
All right, so. Where does this lead? Oh, it was just like for this very specific round from this point to the next. Okay, never mind then. Right, is this where we came up from? Yeah. From here on out, it's all invisible walls. Something up there, there. Oh, and look at all these. It's not even stealing, it's like it's meant for us. In fairness. Hey, Mr. Vicar. Do you ever get a little bit homesick for Edgewater? For that ocean stink? No, I do not. You're supposed to say yes and go on to explain why. I just want to have a conversation. <laughs> of course you do. Seems like they have different understandings of how to friend him for another. <gasps> Friends! Oh no, they're rabid. Oh, a fight. It's like, I just want to shoot them. I'd rather have fed them, but they were rabid. <laughs> no. It was not a great experience. Oh, I shot the sprat and I still feel like it was day one. I've been here before. So this route, this lead. Was it actually that handy to me at the moment? I was wondering what they do with their waste. I guess they just chuck it down here. Where does it all go? Is this the poopomatic? Hey, these these boys are particularly pale, but at least they're not rabid. Uh, how about I stay up top? You know, keep watch. Okay. Frankie got the lead on some local salvage. One of Crownbreaker's old hangers was bricked up uh, over until someone found it by poking around the Steve Dorse quarters. Lilia gave us the go ahead to plant her flag once we clear out the new arrivals. I'm sending you to scout. Look for a loose panel. You gotta climb on top of their bunks and head toward the back wall. Lilia says we should watch her back. She thinks we're being tail and other uh, typical Lilia. Okay, well, I mean. Someone got shot. Ooh, and we got frozen dinner. Winner, winner, frozen dinner. For science! For science! Science! Hmm, okay. Well, science has been denied by an invisible wall, I think. And that's fine. Also, I can't just run into, into a ladder and mute the climbing. Which, on one hand, quite nice. On the other hand, inconvenient. But mostly it's pretty good, because you don't want to end up in that usual spot of, uh, whatchamacallism. Okay, there's Western Co and there, there's space Space's Choice! I know she's in there, you can't get me out of there! Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Hello, I am here to take your Orly Orly Doxy free. I want to talk to people. Hi. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. What's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. 
Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Wait, you don't even like her, but you're checking on her? You say that like it's weird. Mm, this is very noble of you. It is most certainly not. And watch where you go saying that, okay? You're gonna give people the wrong idea. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. Maybe we can look in on Jesse. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Sure, hi. Something I can help you with? I'd like to see Jesse Doyle. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Miss Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. The records say, have you actually spoken to her yourself? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Can I su buy supplies from you? You seem messed up. Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. Fair enough. How do you mean? We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. See you around. Take care. Okay. Can I use the terminal? Messages. To Captain Urian. Subject, where are my automax? I need a status update, Tyrion. I know you posted about the Scylla shortcut, but could you maybe mention through a pocket of space that isn't infested with pirates? You know, pirates, the ones who love cargo and hate rules. Here in Maid Bay, we got blunt tools, watered down maids, long shifts and shaky hands. Don't let me down. Which one? Logs. Stuff shortcuts. I'm at my wits end, uh, coordinating with any authority outside of Cranebreaker. The board won't dispatch a surgeon unless Chan Lei agrees to share a third of all docking revenue and Spaces Choice won't spend supplies. Unless we make an exclusive deal to use their products. No, thank you. I've seen enough shoddy needles breaking breaking off in Basit's arms. I needed to, ch to chat with Chen Lei about this, but she has problems of her own. Some of us have grown concerned about the cost of Groundbreaker's independence. Well, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Isn't it? Hi, have you seen... Uh, Can't Jesse? say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. What's going on? I'm expecting our delivery fellow to stop through with medical supplies and service auto mechanicals. Name's Captain Erion. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, and usually by bandits. What do you need mechanicals for? Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. What's that? The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Yeah, thank you for that. Keep hanging around, and I'll begin to think you're here for me. Aww. What can I do for you? Nothing for now. You have yourself a day, then. You have a day as well. Right, well that's it's a sigma oh my god, that's a lot of blood. I'm gonna assume that was some surgery. Patient experience is unusual side effects post hibernation after his latest voyage. 
Complaints of longer days and decreased boredom, as if time itself is slowing down. I've never seen complications this severe and I'm prescribing a high dosage of stims. While I'm optimistic that I can address the symptoms, the cause still troubles me. I'm going to try reaching out to conveyor crews and some corp docs I know and there are two for answers. Update. I've learned that interstellar crews call the condition skip flu and everyone I asked says they know someone who knows someone who had it. In extreme cases they say the person's body and mind break down entirely, board medics, the few who bothered to reply, insist that the patient was making it up to shirk their duties. I don't believe my patient is malingering, but how do I prove that when the board won't even review my evidence? That's because the... No, no offense, but the... But the... Uh, but the... Uh, But the uh, thingy. The board. The board is made of assholes. That's the one. Hello. How are you doing? Well, I hope. You been hired? Nice to meet you. You too. Okay, this part is more of a morgue, I guess. Okay, and who are, whom are we quarantining? Quarantining? You ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? No. Why would they do that? It's not like we can get sick, right? Surely. How did you recharge the thing again? For the last ratchet on rotten time, leave me in peace! You whole-headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious, but I'll be fine so long as I'm left alone. She's worried about you a lot. Criminy. She really ain't gonna drop this, is she? All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. Hello, how are your sores? The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. What did you do to get... What did you do that got you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Yet you think the board had someone follow you and now you're hiding out. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. Alright, I'll fess this part up too. If it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. What does this have to do with the board? Udon was my buyer for when I'd acquired the diamond. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udon's deposit I'd spent. Yeah, Ellie asked him to help you, so that's what I plan to do. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. I'll talk to them for you. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Don't tell her that. Hello, anyone in quarantine? No. Well, uh, how do I recharge this? Because we need to get out of here. And I don't know how to recharge the thing. Okay, let's get the stealth 
to 50. Everything is nice and 50. You have 4 points remaining and those are gonna go to dialogue. So we get persuade to 50. Apply. Great news everyone. Now the question is, how do I recharge this thing again? Journal, Codex, tell me about the... Uh, mm, what was it? Stealth? Holographic Disguise activated. When it runs out, personnel will see and interrogate you. Talk your way out of the interrogation to reset your shroud. It will get harder to talk your way out the more you are interrogated. Okay, well, um... I'm not there. I don't know what you mean. I'm working on Any it. Any word on Jesse? Uh, remind me, what happened between you two? Let's just say she did me a favor, and now I owe her. So, did you find her, or what? Yeah, she's in depth with the board and thinks someone's after her. I'll handle it. Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it. Thank you. Alright then, well, I'm gonna look into that the next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.